Hey world, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with the Master Chefs. I am Michael Lang, and uh, today we are making crab cakes. In fact, we are making Amanda's crab cakes. We have Dungeness crab cakes, and on top of it is a mango arugula salad with an avocado cream sauce. So we're going to be making all three parts of these things. All right, so we're going to start off by preparing the crab cakes. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't find or get a hold of any actual fresh crabs today. Drove around to five different shops that just didn't work out, so we're going to be using some uh, store-bought crab meat. Do you not think that the best flavor would come from a fresh crab? Yeah. We have all our ingredients right here. Uh, we're going to have one pound of crab meat, a quarter cup of celery, some half a cup of panko bread crumbs, two and a half tablespoons of mayonnaise, about another quarter cup of parsley, a tablespoon and a half of uh, Dijon mustard, salt and pepper to taste, and lemon juice. Also some paprika for me because I love me some paprika. All right, let's get to a mixing. All right, so we're going to mix all of our ingredients together here. The mustard, I also forgot to mention, two eggs. We're gonna need two eggs. Um, celery in, and parsley. Mix it all together. Got the lemon juice. I'm gonna add my salt here, it's about a little teaspoon. Some pepper. And then my paprika. Alright, once you mix all your little ingredients here, go ahead and add your crab meat. Hopefully, for you, it's fresh crab meat. Oh, forgot the Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce? Worcestershire sauce? Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce? Worcestershire sauce? It's gonna, I, cause that's what I do. Mix it all together. Once that's all finely mixed, go ahead and grab your panko crumbs, spread that in, and do some more mixing. Once everything is finely mixed, then you should be able to just make your little crab cakes out of them. Let's see how this works out for me. So, for the avocado cream sauce, uh, basically I'm just gonna let the blender do the work. I'm gonna put in two avocados, half a cup of Greek yogurt, some cilantro, and a shit ton of lime juice. These are limes, not lemons. Lemons are yellow. I know the difference. Lime juice. Lid on, and then blend. My favorite part. <laughs> Avocado cream sauce done. In a nice little squeeze bottle for plating purposes. Alright. So, last component of the three items is the mango salsa. With that, we have some baby arugula, red onion, tomato, apple, and mango. So pretty simple. Toss it all together into a bowl, mix vigorously, and hopefully you have something awesome. Salt and pepper to taste, as always. All right. So now that we have everything all prepped and ready, let's get to cooking these crab cakes, shall we? Yes. First thing is first. Get your pan nice and hot with some oil. You're going to want to cook each cake uh, about three to four minutes on each side. Basically, you're looking for a nice golden brown. So, once you see the golden brown start coming up onto the sides like that, then they're pretty much ready to flip over. Be gentle with them as they are still pretty. Crab cakes are done. They should look nice and golden brown on both sides. Nice and pretty, pretty, pretty. So there you have it. Crab cakes with avocado cream sauce and topped with a mango salad. Uh, thanks Amanda for creating such a wonderful dish for me to recreate. Thank you Master Chef for constantly inspiring me. If you don't watch the show, you should watch the show. Food is awesome and amazing and there's some great talented people on that show. Uh, check out local listings. It's on Fox, it's on Hulu, all that good stuff. I'm gonna go eat some grub. You guys have a great night and I'll see you guys next week. So. Tonight we're making schnitzel. Uh, this was Katrina's dish. It is a pork schnitzel with a braised red cabbage with bacon and Christmas peas.